Hello, Dr. Satan. How you doing, man? It's uh, nice to meet you. My name's Kyle, and I got some cool toys for you, man. Uh, Dr. Satan and I are both from, uh, are both uh, interested in the Predator movies, and so, yeah, okay, probably those hairs. Uh, so, um, he made a, um, he made a Predator costume for his son, and I have an earlier version of, uh, I have an earlier version of one of my, uh, laser, tri-laser setups. Right. Is that it? Not there yet? Okay. Looks kind of okay. All right. My trailer is set up. <clears throat> so I'm sending this to him. Uh, this was for his son because this is old and ugly looking compared to the new design. All right. Uh, All right, man. So I have a couple things to tell you about this stuff. All right, uh, this is our on and off switch. This is our on and off button. You uh, push it, it, goes on and off. Right, right. Okay. It's got uh, a little bit of hot glue on the back, and uh, you should take it and hot glue it to, you know, well, dang it. Yeah, you should take the button and hot glue it into a hole somewhere. I'm just turning the lasers on and off. And these lasers don't look very bright right now, but it's only because I'm in a room full of light. All right, what you should do is take this um, and drill a hole in your mask. And this is totally up to you if you want to do this or not. Um, it's a half inch hole, All right, which is a little bit bigger than this thing. but. The reason why is, so we'll, we'll say that this is the side of your mask, all right, and we want to have this button sitting here on the side of your mask, and you can reach over and, you know, press it, okay? All right. <clears throat> uh, I have rubber from a black balloon, black rubber balloon, and what we're going to do is take this uh, rubber, we get the, uh, the big one, the big piece on the outside. Okay, the big piece on the outside and the small piece on the inside we uh, fold over so that we have three layers through this, three layers of rubber through this. Take your switch, stick it in there, and it kind of makes this little squarish looking thing. Alright, and you take that and you put that through your, put that through the hole. Alright now, you push it through, uh, you push it through further than the button is. So you see it's like sticking out pretty far because we want to push the, we want to glue it uh, right here, around here when we get it to a, you know, a depth that we like. All right, now when it's like this in this little bulb form, you want to push the button back in push the button back in a little bit, but keep the rubber on the outside as big as it is. And the reason why is because the little button on the inside, uh, the rubber may be too tight and keep the button from uh, being able to go up and down uh, nicely. And when you start gluing this, just glue like half of it, half of it, like this half, and don't glue this half yet, uh, just so you can come back over here to the other side and do some adjustments and then, you know, glue the other side. And, uh, then you gotta, I don't know, take a little board, like take uh, some uh, foam board, make a slice and put it across there and put it across there to hold the button out here. And remember, we've made our little ball so it's uh, big enough uh, so that the little button on the inside can be uh, can be actuated okay all right so that's what this rubber balloon is for all right that's uh, how I had this idea um, envisioned but 
this may be too radical. I don't know. You can do whatever you want. You don't even have to use the rubber balloon or drill any holes. Just hot glue stuff wherever it needs to be. Um, okay. Oh, geez. No, you have, um, what's that stuff called? You have, um, uh, Velcro. You have Velcro at home, so you can learn how to Velcro these things into the helmet or, I don't know, whatever. Okay, so, uh, also, uh, this is black and the, uh, rubber is black, but you can go to a, um, party store, party supplies store, slash craft store, uh, I expect you that you know where there's some craft stores, you, you have Mod Podge, <laughs> so, you know craft stores. Alright, um, and get, um, a little package of silver balloons, because the side of your, uh, the side of your, um, helmet is going to be, you know, silver, because it's the Predator helmet, or whatever. Get, uh, whatever color, you know, you want that matches the rest. But, uh, yeah, if your thing is silver, then, uh, then get silver rubber. And, uh, remember, make it, like, three, uh, three levels deep. Three levels deep. <laughs> uh, three layers deep. Three layers thick. Uh, and the reason is because this uh, balloon rubber is pretty thin, and three layers gives you an amount of time before it starts wearing through. All right, so there you go. That's uh, this first this first uh, laser thing. Yeah, there we go. If it was dark in here, they would look much awesomer. All right. Okay. Okay, so here we have my new design. So you're the first per you're the first person getting my new design. And uh, okay, so we have our three LED lasers, and these are not aimed. Okay, these are not aimed. You're gonna have to use uh, hot glue to put uh, around here and hold it and aim it. Yeah, see, and hold it and aim it, looking at a wall looking at a wall off in the distance and the further the wall is like down a hallway uh, to be able to align your three lasers then the more straight your lasers will be okay so when you're aligning well here let's just oh yeah okay we're gonna turn on the master switch and then we're gonna hit the on and off touch sensor This touch sensor you'll take and glue to the side of your helmet or wherever uh, on your helmet. Uh, it's important that you keep it away from uh, metal um, and only about only like four millimeters away from it. Four millimeters on this side you have to keep your um, uh, keep it away from metal for you know about four millimeters on each side. And, uh, and from the back. Okay? Alright. So, um, I have rubber, I have glue, uh, hot glue, right here. Uh, because these are three contacts, and if, uh, metal touches those contacts, then it might short out, and that'd be, you know, lame. Okay? So you notice that you have this, uh, light on the back. Little red light. It's on the opposite side of the board which is kind of lame, because when you push on this side, you don't get to really see the light that's on the other side. I had this idea that you take the take the thing and put it on uh, the side of your helmet, which I'm sure would be silver, right? And um, get some hot glue and hot glue around it. Right, hot glue around it and bring it a little bit above uh, the mask inside the hot glue and the hot glue has to be clear hot glue all right and then you make a lot of a lot of hot glue up here and side to side all right um, then you paint over the whole thing and uh, when you paint over it this thing is going to be silver and the wire is going to be silver and um, also the ru the rubber the uh, mm, hot glue will be painted too but we have clear hot glue but it's painted okay so now what we do is we slice the 
top of the hot glue off that has the paint on it and you make a nice nice clean kind of diagonal edge right here a nice clean diagonal edge here a nice clean diagonal edge here and the further you keep it off uh, the end or the, the further you keep it off of the mask uh, the whiter the the whiter the LED area will be and the reason why you know I would say to do it like this is so that uh, if it's on the side of your mask that um, you'll have just one more little red uh, light you know that's um, uh, I gotta make a different video in a second um, All right, so we got our glue around this, and it's lifted off a little bit so that it, the light spreads out more. Okay, and um, yeah, it's just one more little trinket that has a light on it, you know, on the predator mask. Just one more cool-looking little thing that has a light on it, uh, you know, yeah, light, and it does stuff. So just add, you know, bells and whistles. Okay, I'm gonna um, pause. No, I'm going to make another video because this is going to be part one, obviously, because I'm already at 11 minutes. Okay, so this is the end of part one. I'll make it to part two in just a second.